Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your news headlines. Idaho nurse Crystal Kenny entered a guilty plea Friday for tampering with evidence in the Patrick Frazee case. It's part of a deal she received for agreeing to testify against Frazee. He's facing murder charges in the disappearance of his fiance Kelsey Barrett. Barrett was last seen entering a grocery store on Thanksgiving in Colorado. Surveillance video shows her holding her and Frazee's one-year-old daughter. Prosecutors say Kenny moved the cell phone on November 24th or 25th, within days of when police believe Barrett was killed. Kenny read this statement in court on Friday. I learned that Patrick Frazee had committed a homicide on approximately November 22nd, 2018 in Teller County. I knew that law enforcement would be investigating that crime. I moved the victim's cell phone with the intent to impair the phone's avail availability in the investigation. I had no right or authority to move the victim's cell phone. That occurred between November 24th and November 25th, 2018 in Teller County. That's the statement she gave on the record today. Kenny could be sentenced to up to three years in prison on the charge. She is due back in court June 24th. Meanwhile, Barrett and Frazee's one-year-old daughter has remained in Barrett's parents amid an ongoing custody battle. The much-talked-about hemp bill moves out of committee. With one opposing vote, the House Agricultural Affairs Committee agreed today to introduce legislation to legalize the growth, transportation, and sale of hemp throughout the state. The bill, called the Hemp Research and Development Act, would change Idaho law so it conforms with the 2018 federal farm bill signed by President Trump in December. The bill's introduction comes almost two weeks after a high-profile hemp-related incident on Interstate 84. Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. Well, after what was a mostly cloudy and pretty raw winter day with those temperatures barely climbing above freezing across the Treasure Valley, we will throw some snow into the mix overnight tonight and into tomorrow. The Treasure Valley not heavily favored for this storm event. We will likely see a couple of inches though on the ground before the weekend is done. Your Saturday forecast is mostly cloudy. Some snow showers popping up off and on. Temperatures climbing up to about 40 tomorrow. The heavier snow will likely come into the Boise area area Saturday night into early Sunday morning. So we do have a winter weather advisory in place for eastern Ida, or eastern Oregon, I should say, into the Treasure Valley and portions of the Magic Valley from 11 p.m. Saturday through 5 p.m. Sunday. The more significant snow is expected in our central mountain locations and the upper Weezer River Basin area. We're talking 5 to 12 inches in some of those spots. So it's kind of a tricky snow forecast. We may not see much here in the valley, but I would plan on seeing some. We have blustery winds in the mix Saturday and Sunday as well. So blowing snow will reduce visibility as well. Well, for the next week, in fact, there are just going to be a series of storms rolling in that could keep a chance of snow in the forecast nearly every day through next week. So stay tuned, of course, to our Facebook page and to our website for the very latest updates from Six on Your Side.